The next morning, Ricky avoided talking to anyone. He was successful on the bus. He pretended to be asleep. I met up with him in the schoolyard. He did say this to me. I beseech you to accompany me when I interrogate Miss Bailey about the composition of the chalk dust. You mean you want me to go with you, I asked. Ricky nodded his head this time. I was the one that told Miss Bailey that we needed to talk with her before class got started. She let us enter the classroom ten minutes before everyone else. Hi, Ricky. Her eyes twinkled. You want to talk to me? Ricky said, what a glorious morning it is. I insist that you have an exceptionally excellent day. We all laughed. I piped up. Was there something in that chalk dust you blew at Ricky on his way out of the science lab yesterday? Every time he opens his mouth, huge long words that he never uses come out. Amy is afraid to get near him. I think my best friend has been cursed with verbal diarrhea and his family is starting to wonder if he needs help. Miss Bailey sighed and gave us the story. Yes, there was a little magic in that chalk dust. My father says we are direct descendants of a sorcerer's apprentice. At my college graduation and teaching certification, he gave me a very special box. He said it was magic dust to develop the characters of kings, queens, princesses and princess. Wow. What, Ricky yell? I was impressed. Will this curse be permanent? I sure hope not. I want my friend back. Miss Bailey said, I will have to look in Ricky's eyes to tell you the answer. The magic dust itself determines the severity of the curse. There will be a code number that will show up if we look closely at the top of the whites of his eye. That code will reveal the name of the curse. I have a book of antidotes to help remove the curse. He must follow all the instructions. Ricky raised his head up to Miss Bailey. She gently lifted his eyelid. I watched very closely there was a number there. The number 13 showed up in bright red letters. Please go forth and discover the name of the curse, Ricky said. Miss Bailey handed me the book. I scanned down to curse number 13. I showed her what it was. Ah, the blabberby curse makes one verbose, loquacious, and use words bigger than one's britches.